being a rural girl myself and also being married to a man who has our family farm, our fourth generation family farm out in Thomas, Oklahoma, there are other things that are very important to me and, and I'll address one of them uh, in particular and that is water. You know, we've been in a drought ever since I've pretty much been in office. In fact, one of my first emergency decorations that I was able to declare was declaring that we had a drought in the state of Oklahoma and being able to open up the federal assistance programs that Oklahoma could qualify for, or communities could qualify for, and certainly our farmers and ranchers could qualify for. And along with that, we also work with the Small Business Administration to be able to access some of their federal programs to assist small businesses, which are a lot of our ranching, farming, small business businesses in the in the rural communities. We, we um, worked on that. And then something new that we did several years ago in my term was to actually establish a drought commission, a board that would actually look at the different needs of the state, different communities, different infrastructure needs, levels of water within our state, especially as it relates to tourism, agriculture, uh, just drinking supply water in our various communities. And then we worked with the legislature to actually put money into a fund beginning in 2013 by doing something we've never done before, and that is putting $3 million into a drought commission fund to where communities that were really suffering would be able to apply for grant money to add to their infrastructure needs and to help address some of their concerns with, with the drought. Even uh, doing things like uh, working on hay hauling for cattle and and livestock whenever we have gone through the drought, being able to move heavy equipment with the hay across the state or some of the things that we've done to even working with the Water Resources Board and implementing a water conservation plan and working on legislation like the bill we passed, I signed called Water for 2060 to say that we'll try to conserve our fresh water to save it for our drinking, but also look at how we can better utilize um, reuse of water itself when it comes to agriculture, the energy sector, certainly manufacturing, even watering our lawns, and how can we best utilize our water but keep our fresh water for human consumption and, and things like that that are very important. So we've been able to enact a statewide plan focus on it, set goals, and once again be able to help our communities that need extra help with, with the drought that we've experienced.